five high paying jobs that do not require any kind of formal college education. I know a lot of people out there are insisting on going to college and getting some kind of degree, but for those of you that are saying, you know what, maybe I don't want to go into debt and you know take out student loans, what are some good options for jobs you could get uh, with just a high school diploma? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video, the top five jobs you can get and uh, at the end, we're gonna include uh, seven more jobs if you guys are looking for more ideas. Now, you'll find that a lot of people end up deciding to go off and work at a fast food restaurant or they work in retail, and I honestly wanna discourage that because that's gonna be a very low-paying job for yourself. And it might take you a little bit longer to find a better paying job than maybe a $10 an hour job working at some fast food restaurant, but you know, if you do your due diligence and research and really spend some time looking for high-quality jobs, it is possible to find you know, a really good quality job just with a high school diploma. It is gonna take you longer to actually get hired at that job, but it's gonna be worth it when you're able to make significantly more money. So at all costs, I would say avoid working either fast food or retail. So number one on the list is a postal service mail carrier. Uh, their salary is around $51,000, and that was back in 2011. So this job probably pays more than that does today. Uh, but if you wanna work for the postal service, you don't actually need to have any kind of formal college education. Now, because this is a public sector job, you do have to take that civil service exam to actually you know, be eligible for that job. But there's a lot of postal carriers out there that are making over $50,000 per year. Many of them do not have any kind of formal college education. One thing you might want to take note of though is jobs like this, typically those who do have some kind of college education, well those people are going to take precedence over those who do not. Uh, so do consider that if there is somebody who applies for that job who has a college degree, well they're probably going to get it just because they have skills you know, above and beyond what you do for that line of duty. Okay, number two on the list here is working as a correctional officer. Now, this is not going to be a glamorous job at all. Uh, you're gonna have to have very thick skin to do this job, but it is an essential part of our civilized lives today. And a correctional's officer is basically in charge of uh, you know prisons and people inside them. So yes, it's gonna be a dangerous confrontational job, but as a result, it does pay pretty well. So uh, in 2012, the average correctional officer made a salary of around $43,500. So definitely not a bad job there in terms of that salary, but this is again not a job that's going to be for everyone. Now there are both private and public prisons in the United States. Uh, if it's a public sector job, again, you're gonna have to take that civil service exam, I would imagine, but if you are looking to work for a private prison, uh, that might not be the case. And again, those that do have a college education of some kind are most likely going to take priority when getting hired, and they're probably gonna be starting out at a higher pay and a better position within that prison. Okay, number three on the list is again a very important job. It's a very important part of our civilized lives today, and that is working as a transportation security officer. So when you go to the airport and you're getting your bag scanned and you're getting your boarding pass checked, uh, you are looking at a transportation security officer, and those jobs actually pay surprisingly well. So the average transportation security officer or TSA employee is making around $40,000, and that was back in 2016, so it's probably around that today. But as far as jobs that don't require any college education, this is not a bad gig at all. And you're also doing something that is you know, very important and helping protect the safety of you know, people's lives. So it's a very important job, and uh, a lot of people would really be proud to do a job like that. Now, number four is not actually a job per se, but it's more or less an opportunity to make money for people that are more entrepreneurial. So let's say you don't have a college education, but you want to be making you know, decent money, you don't wanna be a fast food worker, uh, you do have an option here of starting a digital marketing agency. Now, basically what you would be doing is helping small businesses with Facebook ads and their social media presence. So obviously, yes, you're going to need some skills above and beyond you know, a high school education, but these days you can learn a lot online for free. There's online courses that will teach you digital marketing. And so it is a really interesting opportunity, especially for young people. And I personally know multiple people who have digital marketing agencies that are making over $100,000 per year. In fact, on average, when you take on a client, you're looking at about $1,000 per month. So you only need a handful 
handful of clients and you're going to be making a significant amount of money with your marketing agency. Now, if you guys are interested in learning more about that, I did an interview with Kevin David. This is exactly what he does is he shows people how to start their own digital marketing agencies. So I'll link that video up down in the description below if you guys want more information on that. And then fifth and finally on our list here, we have an air traffic controller. This is one of the highest paying jobs out there at a salary of around $122,000. Now, while this job does not require a formal college education, it requires you to go through the FAA's Air Traffic Collegiate Training Initiative Program. So you are gonna have to go through formal schooling, but it is not a college degree, and it's going to gear you specifically for this job. Uh, now, this is one of the most stressful jobs that you can have is being an air traffic controller. So personally, I would not recommend this as your first pick if you're just looking to make a lot of money. But if you are interested in this line of work, it does pay extremely well at a, you know, over $120,000 per year on average. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Those are five high paying jobs that require no college degree of any kind. If you guys are looking for more ideas, I actually have a companion article over on my blog, which is 12 different ways to make, you know, good money without a college education. So if you guys are looking for basically seven more ideas above and beyond this, the link for that blog article is down in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did drop a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.